Hey, 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 welcome in everyone. Uh, my name it's Craig Grant, CEO of RETI. Uh, just kind of getting things going, letting you guys in, you know, right around that three o'clock mark to get us rolling. Uh, but, you know, I'm gonna start working on getting this also live to Facebook. Uh, and at the same time, uh, if a couple of you guys can maybe confirm in the chat room that you can see and hear me okay while I'm working on things, that'd be great. That way we know everything's working smoothly. That's a key. We wanna make sure that everyone's having the right experience. So again, I'm gonna start plugging away, getting things set up to go live on Facebook. And if a couple of you guys can confirm in the chat room that everything sounds good on your end, you see me well, all that kind of stuff, it'd be great. Uh, and even if you don't wanna kind of confirm that, if you just wanna say hi, say hi in the chat room, it's always good to hear from some of our realtor friends from around the world uh, that attend these webinars all the time. So again, I'm gonna go try to get things situated on Facebook. If you guys can confirm everything's going right, I'll know that things are ready to go uh, once we hit about maybe two more minutes um, about that. Uh, that'll give everyone a chance to get logged in. It'll give me a chance to get things going. Uh, and then we'll start introing the topic and give you what you guys came here today, which is all this great information about Nextdoor. All right, so again, I'm gonna go pop over, take care of the Facebook part, you can tell me about what's going on in the chat. See you guys in just a moment. All right, well, always takes a couple extra seconds to get going on Facebook, but I can see in the chat that everything's looking good, which is what I wanted to see. Um, so again, um, things are still kind of queuing up right now to Facebook. Uh, let's give it one more minute um, to give everyone a chance to get filed in here. You know, we have a pretty packed room as usual for these webinars, uh, and then I will get started in under a minute. All right, guys, sit back, relax. We'll get going soon. All right, it's good to see so many people here today. Love it. All right, so that's about the amount of time as I said we were going to give to give everyone a chance. Hey, you guys got here on time. We got to respect that. Um, so let me go ahead and introduce myself. First of all, if you don't know who I am, my name is Craig Grant. Um, I'm an international speaker, instructor, and coach in the real estate industry, and I'm also the CEO of RETI, which stands for the Real Estate Technology Institute. Um, and RETI um, is also the RETI.us website, and we are a team of speakers who are all independents. We all kind of do our own thing in the industry, uh, but at the same time, we're all really good buddies, and we kind of came together, pulled together to build the RETI.us website. So. Part of the reason we do these weekly webinars every single week for free and put them open to the public for free as well um, is the fact that we really are hoping that by us giving so much that you're going to kind of give us a return favor and go check out the reti.us website. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, we just ask you to give us that solid and do so at some point. It's an amazing site with over 2,500 instructional videos, product reviews, webinars, uh, the CRM generator tool, and a lot, lot more. So again, if you have a chance, please go check it out. Consider getting an account because the more users we get on RTI, the more we can give back with great webinars like what we're doing today. Um, but again, you're not here just to hear a pitch about RTI. You're here to learn from a master, which is Amy Smythe Harris. She's a great realtor broker out of the Houston, Texas area, actually Woodlands, Texas to be specific. Um, and Amy just has an amazing ability with networking and social media and really kind of generating business through the internet. She's just great at it. She's been teaching it for years and she practices what she preaches. Um, so what we're gonna, she's gonna be doing today is actually the third installment of a series she's been doing. A couple months ago, she did a just general prospecting, prospecting for pennies on the internet uh, webinar. Last month, she did one specifically on Facebook. This week, she's gonna be doing prospecting for new clients on Nextdoor. Next month, she'll be doing one on Pinterest. So she's doing a full series for us on us at just how to prospect for new business on the internet and on social media. So that being said, let me kind of transition over to Amy's video. She recorded it because again, I'm helping her out today running her webinar while she's tied up in the field. So 
That being said, let's get rolling with Amy's session on how to prospect for new business on, on Nextdoor. Thanks. Hello guys, welcome to learning more about Nextdoor and how you can prospect as well as interact with your neighbors. So I'm on my laptop and this is not normally where I do Nextdoor from, but it's easiest to show you from here. I normally do it from my app, but on nextdoor.com, once you sign up, if you'll go see over here, my profile and settings, make sure that you have your profile set up to say that you are a realtor, um, anything else that you need to have, add emergency contacts, um, what things you like about the neighborhood. And I haven't gotten to that point yet, um, but just FYI, this is uh, make sure your profile is set up. I just updated my profile picture with my new headshots. So make sure that you do this. So this is the main screen of Nextdoor on your laptop on the, the website, I should say. And then these are all of things that are going on in the neighborhood. So what I have done is I have set up certain alerts in Nextdoor to alert me on things that I probably want to be paying attention to, whether it's um, a recommendation or I also use Google Alerts on Nextdoor is to um, let me know if somebody's asking about um, a mortgage refi or whatever it may be. Okay, so just if you know, think little things that you can do. I do respond a lot in here, and um, of things that I know, especially when they're looking for recommendations. So we'll go down to the next line. Is um, the neighborhood I'm part of, and when you join, when I first joined, we did not have access to anything outside a certain uh, radius and it was uh, it was I can't even remember um, gosh it was just like our neighborhood um, when we lived in Hobbit Glen so just in the past two years they widened it so it's not just my neighborhood it's surrounding neighborhoods to be helpful so that's um, something to think about when you set up for the first time and it should be in your profile and settings, your news feed preferences, top post, privacy, and then if you want your address to be shown and notice it says um, on privacy, show my recommendations to a neighbor in Jacob Reserve and 40 neighbor nearby neighborhoods or anyone on next door. So and then make sure you check the privacy information and how you are wanting to um, address people out there, okay? Um, you can change your email notifications. You can turn them totally off. You can have them text it to you, which is under the SMS alerts. And then you can go to nearby neighborhoods and you can personalize your list of neighborhoods. Where when first uh, Nextdoor came out first, you couldn't do that. You were restricted to just your neighborhood. But you'll see all the neighborhoods that um, I'm part of, and these are areas I sell in, that I'm comfortable in working, and so, but you can customize those. So just something for you to think about is keeping up with what's out there. And then, under help for you guys and getting started so I will um, it's help.nextdoor.com and I'll make sure we put it in the chat for you is ver creating your account if you've never created one before they have a ton of resources and tools on using Nextdoor and then the guidelines and policies this is um, a big deal and at least for a lot of people out there and then how to create and edit a group you can create and edit a group just like you can in Facebook I have don't do this just because I 
I haven't needed to because I use my Facebook groups for my specific um, neighborhood and the other groups I'm part of. Um, but this is great if you only want to stay with one area and or one social media. So just a thought process for you guys. And it's easy to do. And again, I'll put that in the chat room for you guys. And it's pretty easy to do. And I'll just do one real quick so you can see it on the screen. Okay. So the groups page. And create a group. So let's say um, volleyball JR people. So um, this can be people that are in my neighborhood that are all part of the Jacobs Reserve. And I'll just do those two. And I'll open it up to everybody. And welcome to the group and um, carpooling. Need help with carpooling to CP volleyball games. And I'll refine this later. Okay. And I'm not going to add a photo or video right now because. Uh, I don't want to search for it and you guys see everything on my computer. Okay. All right. And then I can invite people by email. I'm not going to do that right now um, because I'm just recording this. But I would invite the people I know from the volleyball teams on that. And I'll do that actually later today. But normally what we end up doing is doing um, a group me. So haven't had a reason to do a group in next door yet for those things okay and so let's go over here to next door on the left hand side of the map how many members and then you can invite neighbors and here's what's really cool about next door is you if you know their email addresses you can send invitations to them if you don't know their email address. I don't know most of my neighbors email addresses. You can send invite letters and I have 16 letters remaining. I think when they first came out it was 15. I think it's now up to 30 of to invite um, people. So when it's green you'll know that's who's part of it but when I say that this is people that these homes on the right hand side are not even you know built on yet and uh, they're still vacant lots so but it's a great way to kind of reach out to your neighborhood and you can actually expand it um, to others and so that's just a thought and it's a cheap way to prospect in next door so and you can always check your contacts or you can just do a custom link so let's say you're sending out a electronic newsletter as your way to prospect then you can share the custom link. Join me on next door. Da, 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 da. And again, that needs to be target specific, geographic specific. So you can't send it out to your whole sphere of influence um, or your whole past client database. But that would be another way to prospect on next door. Now, some agents have told me they have sent the invite letters and then they have gone door knocking. Some of that was pre-COVID and some of it was post-COVID. And I think if you're going to do that, you just need to understand your community base. Will they be receptive to it? And so what I did this year is I sent out um, invite letters to a couple of my neighbors that I knew were not on there that I just knew in passing by walking on the street. And then what I did is I did a follow-up by doing that aloe vera plant that I think I showed you guys on another video and dropping them off. So they call them drop-bys, pop-bys, whatever you want to call them, um, drop-offs. 
And so that was my way. And then I put it on next door saying, if you're interested in aloe vera plant, um, da, 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 da. So I still have people asking me for them, but I can't get the resource for, um, that I had them for beginning. So I'm kind of putting these people on my CRM that are asking these things. So when I do my next drop off in Later September, October, I'm still deciding because I'm deciding on what I want to do. And if you guys want, I'll give you um, next time around or I'll have type it up. And once I have it on my own calendar of different ideas for drop-offs. And drop-offs right now are a great way to kind of follow up with your neighbors and prospect to your neighbors. Um, and then you just do a promo on Nextdoor about it. So, because people don't want to be harassed right now, that kind of thing. So this is kind of a, a good way to, to meet your neighbors without maybe physically meeting them. So hopefully that kind of showed you on that. And again, I'm going through um, this section. Now, if you are in a neighborhood that does not have um, Nextdoor set up, you can be the admin for it, which I highly recommend. Now, if you're posting too much real estate content on there, then they will um, kick you off. So you gotta have to make sure you're either a registered business, and if you'll see under businesses, you'll see local deals, business updates, add a recommendation, and claim your business. So this is where I would tell you the kind of key points of this is add recommendations. You're always seeing the next door. They need a painter. They need an electrician. They need a plumber, yada, 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 mm -hmm. is I always go and look for my people that I recommend and say, here is um, the one I recommend to all my clients. Da, 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 da. And then they can see on my profile that I'm a realtor, da, 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 da. So that's, that's something. Um, and it, it talks about here supporting local dis businesses, getting the takeout. Get the list. Do a post about that on Nextdoor. Or even take that list to your Facebook um, page and say, hey, if people are still looking for what's out there. And then claim your business page. And... Uh, that's the one other tech away I would tell you to do. I haven't claimed mine. I claimed it on one of my other businesses. I haven't done it on the new company, Ash Realty, and that's going to be on my to-do list today. So it's pretty easy to do. They have to verify, obviously, the address. For sale and free, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be posting that later. Um, I got some free stuff that I'm just going to do porch pickups, and so if people want it, they can just free get it. So those are another way to kind of touch base with them and connect with them by giving something away for free. So, and when I'll do is, especially if I have a multiple porch pickups, I'll put their name on a, you know, a card stock and then I'll have my business card attached to it. So those are other things you can do. Events. So one of the things I'm trying to organize um, probably for maybe late October since probably there's not going to be a lot of Halloween um, trick-or-treating for a lot of the kids is I'm trying to organize uh, trucks, uh, food trucks to come in. So it won't cost me anything and just to organize it and then I can promote it through Nextdoor and then my other groups and um, tell People like, hey, come and you can, you know, have bags of candy um, ready for kids kind of thing and do it maybe that way and trying to, but I'm again, kind of working through of how to do that, it, to organize it and to be COVID compliant because I know people are still nervous about that. And then real estate, on the real estate, you're going to have to have a business page to, to have if you'll see over here to be able to get um, a sponsorship and then you can sponsor your listings if you are a realtor.com pro member 
um, you can have it where it will go to next door. Now, obviously, it's only going to be in that neighborhood. But if you look at the real estate closely, just like on any real estate site, it scrapes it. Even though you're paying for the sponsorship, it still shows the listing agent. So um, think about that before you spend money and if it fits your marketing budget. Okay. Um, lost and found, I do want to talk about. There's always a lot of posts on here, and I always do try to post on here. We have a, an issue with our postal service always delivering mail to us that is not to us, um, addressed to us. And so I always, and it's not the right address, so I always use Nextdoor to kind of find out um, who it is and, hey, I've got your package, uh, whatever it may be. So Lost and Found, normally you'll see uh, people posting about dogs, cats, that kind of stuff on loose. And then this is just general things that are out there um, for you guys. Now, events have been coming really popular on next door. I don't do events here and there's no reason why I shouldn't honestly be, because I do events on Facebook. But next door is probably a better venue if you're going to do like the food truck thing that I was talking about or you're organizing a Halloween gathering or if you are going to have an open house, this is where I would do it. And this is a great way because it's again localized I haven't done it for open houses. Number one, I really don't do open houses that often just because 25 years in the business, I, I just normally let people do it. Other agents do it and get it. Um, but here's another thought that my ADD just kicked in is a friend of mine, and it was an agent, just a friend of mine in the volleyball group, um, rented out a theater because the theaters are at certain capacities um, and not all of them are open but some people just really want to go see a movie and so she rented out a movie theater I think she said it cost her only a hundred dollars and what she did was now there was no concession stands open they had to bring their own food in but it was my daughter's, my youngest daughter's core group of friends. So it was a great way to connect. So I'm trying to work on that as a, another way. Could I do something like that with a movie um, for that cheap of money to prospect and put it on next door? Another idea that a friend of mine did up in Boston, and I thought it was great. And so I'm sharing it with you. He posted on next door. He lives in Beacon Hill. He posted on next door. Um, movie night because they didn't have a lot of events that that were organized really well up there and he was kind of known as the organizer in that community so he rented a big screen projector screen put it out in one of the parks and invited everybody to go and this is just he just did it a couple weeks ago when Boston kind of finally started reopening and I thought that is a great, inexpensive way to prospect and put it on next door as an event um, beyond just real estate, a, a way to connect with your community. Because remember, they buy from you because they know, like, and trust you. So um, directories, this is another thing. And right now, let's hopefully it loads in. Is It, it just finally loaded in. Um, as you'll see everybody in the neighborhood and so you can message them send them like on a specific street hey I saw um, a new listing come on in this neighborhood even though you don't have their email address you can message them directly and you can filter it and then you can also do it for businesses so this is um, and you can invite other people that you know on in your neighborhood that aren't on here so there's a lot of great ways to prospect using next door but my last takeaway, um, my Amy Out Loud tip is don't use Nextdoor to only talk about business. Recommend other businesses and 
because small businesses need that and then they will be apt to do that to you. Talk about events or promote other events that somebody has posted that you're interested in. So that's kind of my takeaway is it's not about just getting business. It's about learning your community and your neighborhood. So hopefully that helped you guys. And Amy Out Loud signing off. I will see you guys next time. All right, so you made it to the end of the education part of the webinar. I appreciate you sticking around. So now it's time for your perks. So the first perk for attending today's webinar is a quick little tour of the RETI website. If you're not familiar with the RETI site, which is reti.us, this is the site that the RETI team runs. One of the reasons we run these weekly webinars is, well, one, to give back to the industry and help you guys out. But a second reason is we really always want to draw attention to the RETI site Hope you'll go check it out yourself and consider getting an account, which we're gonna show you is not very expensive, but has some amazing advantages. So first of all, our team has created over 1500 instructional videos, product reviews, webinars, articles, and more on all these different topics, accessories, Apple, apps, augmented virtual reality, blogs, business uh, growth and planning, cloud, communication, CRMs, you can see the list of topics we cover goes on and on. Um, and the whole point is, if you had an account, you'd be able to go in and learn about all these different things, over 1,500 pieces of content to really help you improve your business through technology, not continue being scared and having it hurt your business. So again, that's the first big advantage is just knowing about the RTI site and considering getting an account. And by the way, some of the things to highlight on RTI, like our tech guide, which is our product review guide. We do any app or tool we can get our hands on related to the business. Our team does a review of it. So that you can go in here to try to figure out what are good ideas to buy for your business or buy for closing gifts or anything like that. We also built something really new called a CRM generator, which is pretty amazing. A CRM is always one of the most confusing decisions a realtor has to make. And what we did was we tried to help you make that decision with a lot less time and research. So for example, you could just come in and click in and learn about any of these CRM vendors that we've kind of reviewed. We did full uh, webinar demos of their products and we learned a lot about all the features and tools they have. So you can just click into any of these member profiles just to learn about a specific vendor. Um, but if you actually take the generator, which is only eight questions, takes only about five minutes to do, it then would take all these vendors and rank them from best to worst based on your own personal needs, based on the kind of uh, features you're looking for and what kind of integrations with existing tools you use and things like that. So the CRM generator is a pretty revolutionary tool that you can use to help you figure out or kind of whittle down your research time uh, to just narrow down to your, your best matches. And then if you are interested in getting an account and getting access to all this amazing stuff I'm showing you, you just go to the sign up page. And if you go to the sign up page, you'll see you have two options, either a starter account with a premium account. So everything I just showed you, getting an account where you have access to everything on the website is the starter account. But the premium account, just so you're aware of it, is one-on-one -on -one training. So of course it includes membership on the RTI website, but if you need personalized assistance training on any tech topic, this would give you access to train with one of the RTI team members. Um, but I'm sure most of you guys are more interested in the starter account. So if you go to the sign up page, you have options of do you want to sign up for a monthly account, which we always give a little free, uh, not free, I'm sorry, a reduced price on the first month and then $19.95 on your monthly. Um, we also are running a promo right now where you can get two months for $9.95 before it increases to $19.95. Or do you want to pay for the entire year for $99.95? So the second perk we're going to give you in this for attending today's webinar is the fact that you can get a promo code to lower your prices down. So if you do the promo code, new R-E-T-I-M-O for monthly, it would lower that initial first month from $4.95 down to just 99 cents. And then again, it would kick up to the 19.95 after the first month. 
or if you change your uh, sign up to the annual plan and change it to new RETI YR, it would then lower the entire year from $99.95 down to $75. So again, new RETI MO would lower the first month from $4.95 down to $0.99, cents, or new RETI YR lowers the year from $99.95 down to $75. So that's our second perk. So hopefully you guys are interested and even consider getting an account. Again, we are constantly adding new content and just doing as much as we can to help you guys further your business through technology and marketing. Um, but again, we can't continue doing all these webinars so we get more and more people to sign up for the site. And then, by the way, if you do sign up, please let us know in the chat room. We'd love to congratulate you and welcome to our network. All right, so that being said, that was our two big perks, was checking out the RITI site and the CRM generator, and then those promo codes that would get you reduced prices if you do sign up. So that being said, now let's kind of turn it over to Q&A. We've been monitoring the chat room, and we'll try to answer as many questions as we can. And if by chance we can't, we will definitely try to follow up with you personally to help you anything you want to know about from this webinar.